Welcome back, babies. It's your girl AJ up in the building. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. It is Monday, so guess what? New week, new blessings, new beginnings. Don't ever forget that. Every time it's a Monday, it's just a new week. You can start fresh. Forget about yesterday. Forget about last week. Kick it to the side. Start fresh and let's start back over. Okay, you guys. So today we are embroidering a 2T toddler sweatshirt. I got the sweatshirt off of Amazon or Jiffy shirts. I believe it was Jiffy shirts because I ordered a bundle of sweatshirts and stuff when I ordered some shirts. So we got it from Jiffy shirts. That's mostly where I get my sweatshirts from. So we have a 2T sweatshirt to embroider. So you guys, we're going to be using a Recoma EM1010. It is a 10 needle embroidery machine. This is a commercial machine, you can somewhat say. But once you get to the 20 needles, those are the real commercial machines. So I would say this is actually a home-based machine in my eyes. Okay, you guys. Now. We will be embroidering this sweatshirt and today I ordered some hoops. Y'all take my card for me. Take, take it. Take the card. Take it away. <laughs> I ordered some hoops for Mighty Hoops just because a lot of you guys have been raving about them and talking about them. And you guys know me. I love to try it and I love to test them out. So we ordered some hoops. I should have just ordered one. But because I also wanted to see which one would actually fit the 2T to where I could get almost the biggest size possible without having it too small. So I did order a 5x5. Five five. This is the 5x5 five five Mighty Hoop right here. And this also is the one that goes from my machine, the Rokoma EM1010. So when you are ordering these Mighty Hoops, you do need to be specific on your machine because you will get the brackets that go to your machine, okay? And on top of that, I ordered the 8x9 Mighty Hoop. Now I got the 8x9 just because I wanted something that could fit a 2T. The 3T, definitely if I plan on doing more of the Etsy shop, I just feel like this would be more where you could actually have a full design versus being very tiny on a 5x5, five five, double hooping it. Because you got to also remember when it's a 5x5, five five, mine is out the frame. You're probably at 4.5, 4.5 by 4.5. Nah. So I got this just to see if it could actually fit the 2T. Now, if it fits it, that is going to be freaking amazing that I might have to order some more. I might go broke because I, I got to have more than because it's so many options on their website. They offer so many things. I'm going to have to check it out. And the Hoop Master is on my mind. It's on my mind. It's on my mind. I haven't seen anybody else that makes one that compares to them. So, um, stop telling me to buy stuff because a lot of y'all be running me broke. Okay. Now, the shipping on this actually took about at least three days. They are located in the United States. Shipping was freaking fast like i'm looking like what what now it's like shipping is i guess i see why the shipping is worth the shipping price because it comes fast and i decided to order two because it's like if i'm gonna pay that good amount for shipping why not order two then just i don't know it was girl mathing in my head like it made sense because i'm looking like if i order two it would equal to why i should pay this amount for shipping <laughs> it made sense in my head you guys oh gonna stop so we got the two mighty hoops and we're going to be testing out one of them today to actually see which one would fit the 2t better i'm hoping i'm hoping the eight by nine so we're going to test that one out first put it in the shirt if it fits in the shirt we're running with it <laughs> we're running with it because that's the size i want because i want to just make sure i have a fuller design on the 2t shirts and it's not too small or just up here and it doesn't look right so we're going to be testing it out on the sweatshirt today for the customer she did pick out her font that she wanted in the color she wants so she got a black sweatshirt with a yellow font and she also picked out the font i gave her some options she picked it out so if you are interested in something like this check out my website and if you don't see something you don't like and you don't see something i have but you want it you can always email me dm me text me instagram y'all do it all the time for everything else you could do it for that and when you do it for that just know i'm going to answer you and i can send you an invoice so that way you can get something custom made just for you that makes it more unique okay you guys let's go ahead and get started with today's video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and let's go ahead and go you guys so we have the sweatshirt right here this is a 2t i don't know why i'm for like 2t sweatshirts it's like looking for the size why they gotta have a size somewhere else is crazy to me but this is the 2t sweatshirt right here that we have i actually got this one 
from jiffyshirts.com so this is where i got this sweatshirt for it is all black 2t so we also got our no show stabilizer so because this shirt sweatshirt kind of feels thin i'm going to do three layers just to be sure now it is a kid sweatshirt so i will put like a like stabilizer behind it that won't you know make the skin itchy definitely for kids so we got our shirt y'all know me let me get my t-shirt ruler now my t-shirt oh sorry because y'all probably hear my necklace moving around so my t-shirt ruler it just helped me like align just to let me know where to put my hoop at definitely for the size of the shirt and on top of that let's go ahead and get our tape let me move it up some more my blue painters tape just let me know this is where the design should start at so this is a toddler shirt design should start here so most likely i'm going to have to hoop my design a little bit more up hopefully it fit like i believe it will <laughs> now this is not a sticky stabilizer so i do have to use a basting spray adhesive and i just use like a quilt adhesive that i get from walmart if you don't want to you can buy the adhesive stabilizer i feel like it is a little bit more expensive so i just don't do it i can feel where the tape is at right there even though i know this is going to fit i still like to do that I know y'all probably see my big old belly, y'all. <laughs> so this is the basin spray that I use. I literally get it from Walmart. You can get it on Amazon. If you get it on Amazon, you probably get it in like a pack or something. So just spray. Just to make sure everything holds down. Perfect. This actually is going to cover everything. I'm just sprayed. Ooh. Just spray all of these layers just to hold it. That's why I'm spraying it just to hold everything down. And then just fold it back in. Also going to try to get like the little wrinkles out. Because that will be in there. If you border it, it will be just like that if you leave it like that. So I try to make sure it's like just no wrinkles or balled up. It will definitely look just like that. Just letting you know. Okay. Make sure it looks good. Just want to get this little wrinkle out. It's literally one wrinkle, y'all, that's getting on my nerves. Even though somebody won't see it, but I know it'd be there. <laughs> So that's going to hurt my nerves. Spray a little bit on this side just to make sure it is holding it down. Because when I flip it over, I don't want it to move or come off. Okay. Flip it back right side out. Boom. So when I'm doing adult shirts, definitely the tape definitely helps because adult shirts are way bigger so i gotta make sure i'm near like a certain neckline and everything like that too okay go inside make sure everything laid flat take can off and that is okay get my ruler again retape it i also use the ruler to help me find the center line but the center line is also on this t-shirt ruler as you guys can see so it also let me know center line Alrighty, let's go ahead and hoop it. So I'm going to be using the 8.9, I'm saying 8.9, 8 by 9 Mighty Hoop. So we're going to use this one. So this is the one that go inside. Now on their website, they also got something for the back end. So if we like it, we'll try it out. So we're going to just go ahead and slide this hoop in. Perfect. Make sure everything is like nice and turned straight. Nothing is crooked. And we just gonna go down. <laughs> Last time, you guys, this thing almost had my fingers. So. Woo! 
That was tight. It actually fit. This is an eight by nine Mighty Who on a 2T. Beautiful. Like, this is gonna look nice because two T's are usually you wanna do a almost to nine inches wide. So I'm very happy that this actually fits. Probably a nine something. Probably would have been perfect too. Now it's time to embroider. Yes, let's go. Okay, so we had a machine set up. I do have my hoop size to other just because this is a other hoop. This is how it looks. Now, I believe I did move everything to the sizes. So I'm gonna use a water stabilizer on top of here because this is a sweatshirt. Usually with sweatshirts, you wanna use a water stabilizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the water stabilizer on here. I also do this because most machines, I know my machine does have oil that comes out. Definitely when it's been a set a while. And I'm just going to go ahead and put everything into the hoop sizes. I do need to tighten the um, brackets up just because I did loosen it. Just to make sure I put everything where it should be at. Make sure the shirt is open. So that way the inside is not being embroidered. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, I have done it at least one time. And I promise you, you don't notice until the end. And you're going to be pissed off when it's like what so i'm just taking a screwdriver and i'm just tightening up the um brackets back here just to make sure that everything is good to go now everything is tightened now we have an other so because we have an other other we will have to sit here and just make sure everything is in the right area and basically it's in border inside and not hitting the frame if your needle hit the frame you void warranty i love to repeat this i know you're tired of hearing it don't void your warranty you guys it's not cheap okay so we are doing needle of 10 today for this because it has yellow on here because my want yellow with just the name so i'm just making sure everything is centered first And I'm also going off of my blue tape that I did hit and also the dots that's on here for the center marking. Okay, so now we can go ahead and lock it and measure the design area. We could definitely bring this up some more. <laughs> this is definitely too low. So we're gonna bring it up some more. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up. So for this machine, when you're going up, you gotta press the down button to go up. And if you're going down, you gotta press the up button to go down. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit weird. Now, also the size on here was good, but I do feel like I can make this just a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my design set and just probably make this like 115, just because there's more room for the width. Boom. Go up some more. Now remember, we already taped our area, so this blue tape is letting us know where our design should be starting at. As a reminder, that's why I put the blue tape there. It is a great reminder for people. I do have some room to still go up some. I'm not gonna go probably straight to the blue line, but I can go up some more. Make sure the shirt is still in between, the arm is in between there. Now I could have flipped this shirt upside down, it would've been probably easier. Okay. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, it's going. We have it stitching out. So this is the eight by nine Mighty Hoop that we got from MightyHoops.com. You can also check them out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever they are on all social medias. They also have a YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken, you guys. Now for shipping for this, just in case you are wondering like, okay, well, I'm interested in this. How long does shipping take? Shipping literally took, I would say about three to four days. It was very fast, quick packaging came very nice and sturdy so you guys know we forgot to take the tape off <laughs> 
but it's okay we forgot to take the tape off we forgot it's okay i'm gonna bring y'all in closer so y'all can see the action now this is the Recoma em 1010 so when you are ordering this who you do need to make sure you tell them the machine you have because they have different hoops to go with different machines and that's because your brackets is going to be different for each machine okay so far this seems to be going so well i haven't had a problem it was easy to put together literally i didn't even have to get a screwdriver i just twisted it with my hand it was like smooth easy peasy shipping was dumb fast they are located in the united states so shipping was very fast i like i said it took like at least three days so it was definitely fast and you guys know i stay in texas and i believe they are like in michigan or something like that i believe let me double check oh i think they're in washington <laughs> And it came in three days. It came in a sturdy box. Nothing was broken. And it came with instructions on how to use it for your machine and what you need to do. If you are using these Mighty Hoops, Magnet Hoops, you have to make sure that you're tracing your area, you guys. It is very important because these people are giving you these Mighty Hoops, but you're buying it. Let me tell you, they probably also not telling you. You need to trace your design because we're not going to pay for your machine if it breaks. They're not paying for anything, you guys. You should know to trace your design area all the time. It's important to always trace. Do not skip this step or anything. Trace it. It takes, what, three minutes. We did it. You may have to do it two times. That's okay, you guys. You are able to trace your design. Take your time to do it, okay? So, like I told you guys, this is a 2T sweatshirt. So, I have a water stabilizer on top of it. When you're doing, like, fleece sweatshirts, I always recommend using a water stabilizer. Now, if you're doing an applique on top of this, do not use a water stabilizer because it's not going to go well, okay? <laughs> it's not going to go well. It won't even heat press the staple. Um, like, for example, your vinyl is not going to heat press. Because it's a water stabilizer that you're supposed to spray with some water and it's going to dissolve. So if you wash it, the water stabilizer will dissolve. That's why it's called a water stabilizer, you guys. But it's running smooth. It's on there and I'm so happy to start doing some 2T, 3T shirts. I was doing some and I felt like my designs were small and it just felt small to me, not nobody else, just to me. It felt tiny because I'm like, this is a 2T. It shouldn't be this small and I don't want to double hoop something and I'm happy because I got the hoop for it. I think I may have to get the hoop, <laughs> the hoop station. Y'all know me. We're going to see. I may end up coming back and tell y'all I got the hoop station. I don't know. But so far, I'm liking this. I I'm loving it so far, you guys. And if you are enjoying the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And you are wondering where to get the hoops from, I can leave a link down for below for you guys. And you guys go shop and make embroidery just like more fun for you guys and faster because with these magnet hoops, they are dumb faster. You don't have to do, you know, the whole process of me making sure it's straight it's not crooked you don't have to do that this actually helps the process and it brings some fun back to embroidery you guys so make sure you're checking them out like i said i'll leave a link down below for you guys Okay, you guys, we are literally at 50% crazy. We got this machine running at 320. Now, that's not even how fast this Recoma could go, so we could actually up the speed a little bit more. Now, we are using a yellow thread, and this yellow thread I did get from Amazon. It comes in a box. I'm gonna show you guys the thread at the end because it is for like the brother and border machines, but I'm not gonna lie, my Recoma EM1010 actually loves this like thread. It works amazing. So far, my threads that I'm liking is the brother and border thread. Um, it's actually, no, it's called Sim Thread or something like that. And so far, heat trans warehouse and border thread. Those are what my machine loves to run. Like I'm able to up the speed to almost 400. And honey, when I say it's not gonna break, it runs, it doesn't break, it doesn't slow down. Sometimes you could tell if your machine doesn't like a certain thread. Like for me, um, what is it, Madeira thread? 
for me, Madeira Threads breaks a lot. I have to run it at 300. Definitely the white Madeira Threads, it breaks a lot that I have to run it at 300. And if you don't know, 300 is almost the slowest speed on this machine. Even though that sounds crazy, I know. 300 is the slowest speed on this machine. So I love the heat trans warehouse thread and the Amazon thread. I'm gonna show you guys the box of Amazon at the end so you can see the thread that I get. I'll probably find a link for you guys and leave it down below too. If I forget, you know, comment down below and just let me know where is the link at? Cause the thread is actually cheap. You get probably, I believe 63 colors. Now it is a very small spool. It's not big. I'm gonna show you guys the spool. Let me see if I can find one that's sitting out somewhere. Okay, this one is almost empty, so don't mind this one. So this is the spool right here that you get inside of the um, thread from Amazon. It is a very small spool, but at the same time, you are getting all the colors. That's why I like this spool. That was worked for me. It's just like, for me, I'm getting a box of 63 for almost, I believe like $20, $30 and I'm getting 63 colors, so I do have a lot of color options. Sometimes what I like to do is actually buy two boxes of them, so that way I do have a backup. And a lot of times these threads have number on them, so if you are looking for a certain number, you could like go to Madeira and find like the matching number to that one, or he trans warehouse and find a like thread that match that number to the thread that you already have if you do not know that. Fun fact, okay? <laughs> Okay, you guys, we are at 99%, so it is coming off. Yes, and we are done. That's the beeping noise. Time to take it out. So this was a simple name and bought a sweatshirt. This is how it came out. Looks amazing. It came out good, you guys. So literally all you could do is just tear these away or you can get some water and spray them. Honestly, I will take my nails and just peel off the water stabilizer myself. Don't really need anything, I don't think so. <laughs> Honestly, now this spots I can't get to, hey, then that's when I would get the water spray, just like some water. You can do sink water, just still water spray it and you can let it air dry some people say they put it in the dryer but i just let it air dry if i put water on it and if i let it air dry i do let it air dry for at least two days but it came out so good so the customer did pick the fund that she wanted for this and this is the fund that she decided that she wanted to do for this now I do probably have to pray with my center pieces a little bit because i could have went over a little bit more but we'll see when the whole thing come off of the hoop. So just a reminder, this is a eight by nine mighty hoop, you guys. So it's very easy to actually do as you see it's in here. Looks so nice. And we did use a no show mess stabilizer. I did get mine off of Amazon, so it did come out very good. All right, you guys, we are done and it's time to actually take it off. Now, this is a magnet hoop, so the magnets are pretty strong. And I think that's probably my biggest issue was putting it on and taking it off because these things strong. But let's go ahead and take it off. It did come out very good. The customer did pick the front that she want. I think my biggest issue was just the magnet hoop in general. It's just probably learning how to center up and down, side to side. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. I'm probably going to put tape going across and tape going up and down just to make sure I know what to center at. It does take a little bit of time. Everything takes practice. So we just got to put it around to learn which way that we like to do it. Just because if you think about a Rakoma, when you put other on the machine, it doesn't know the size hoop that you're using. So because of that, that affects the way that it all like centers versus if I was using a hoop D, it automatically know where to center at because it knows that hoop versus it doesn't know the other hoop. That's why I have to do it myself. So I think that is the hugest thing about this. That's going to be a learning curve for me, but let's unhoop it to see how it looks. Okay. So let's see okay not bad that bad when you got a shirt in between is not bad <laughs> not bad at all let's go ahead and put this hoop down let's go ahead and put her down slide this on out now we still do have the stabilizer behind and that's okay 
We'll take it off later on. Okay, yes. Okay. So, as you see, it could have came over some more to the L Ace part of the name. I feel like it could have came over some more. Let me double check. Sometimes you be looking at it, you look like, no, it could have. It could have. Um, actually, no. It actually came out good. Yeah. Okay, look at me. I'm stressing my stuff out, and it came out good. Now, I will have to go in and just take the rest of this water stabilizer out. Like I said, I usually use my nails. Just peel it off. But we just got a couple in here that we have to do for the water stabilizer and just take them off. They just like little pieces. Like I said, I'm not too much of a fan of spraying water on people's clothes and giving them. So if I do spray water on here, I have to put it to the side and let it just dry for two days. So this is A2T and we use an 8x9 hoop and it fit perfectly fine. It didn't stretch out the shirt or anything. So I'm very happy about that. And I think I may have to get the hoop master. <laughs> I need to sit down somewhere. I don't need to be buying the most stuff. Now, if you are wondering everything that we use in today's video, let me tell you. Water stabilizer. This goes on top of your sweatshirt. So if you're doing fleece or you just have like a fuzzy shirt, sweater, whatever, blanket, Mickey blankets, you want to use a water stabilizer. So when you stitch it on top of here, your design or your text is going to be on top of the garment, blanket, whatever, because if not, then your text will sink into the sweatshirt, blanket, whatever you're using. If you don't use a water stabilizer for those things, your text or picture, whatever you're embroidering, will sink inside of the shirt. Basically, you got all the fuzziness on top of your design. So make sure you use a water stabilizer. Super easy. I got mine off of Amazon. It's in my Amazon store, I believe. So for this one, I did use a no-show mesh. I like the no-show mesh over just the regular mesh just because with the no-show, you don't see that big box around the whole design like some embroidery designs have. You can see the box behind it that lets you know where it was embroidered at and stuff like that. With the no-show mesh, this is also a cutaway stabilizer. You don't see the stabilizer behind it. So, see, you don't see the stabilizer behind here. It's no-show and that's why it's called no-show mesh. So I love this stabilizer. I believe this is the lightweight. It's on Amazon. I'm going to link it down below too. Now they do have different ounces. Depending on what I'm using or like important, I will probably do two layers or at least three of these. And I do buy these in a row off Amazon. Last but not least, we also use the Mighty Hoop 8x9 magnet hoops. Love them, love them. They was very simple and easy to put together. You don't even need the shrews. You can tighten it with your hands. Easy peasy. Simple, simple. But I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't know, and it should be obvious, the biggest thing we did use is the Racoma EM1010 to embroider this 2T taller shirt. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss another video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.